Hi, welcome to this weekly devotion. This is uh, Thanksgiving week. So uh, to everyone out there, a warm, happy Thanksgiving. This is a national holiday. It's been a celebration, the blessings of the year, including a bountiful harvest. Our faith community is thankful we have not lost anyone to COVID. Our community garden production was plentiful that helped us as we were able to feed people in the community during the pandemic. We, uh, we were able to continue doing that and we will continue on and uh, I think we'll have more and more people now that will be coming, but uh, uh, that's always a, a good focus for us to have and that's to feed the hungry. Um, so even during a pandemic, we give thanks to God. First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians 5, verses 15 to 18 says, See that none of you repays evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to all. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing. Give thanks to all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So that's good advice, do not repay evil with evil. I think we live in a society now where there's so much divisiveness and so much tension. And I think we need to be the ones to share the love, to get past all of that, to be graceful to others, and to listen to people and not attack people. Because that's easy to do. It's always easy. It's always easy. I always said everybody's a movie critic, but there are no jobs for that. There's no jobs that are open because very, very rarely do they leave because it's such a great job to have is to criticize. But instead of criticize, we build each other up. We look for the positive. We make sure we find positive in other, others. And we're very, very thankful. So we always seek to do good to one another. So if there, we have a challenge, we seek ways to do good. Now, here we're going to be in what we call the holiday season, which was holiday kinds of the words, holy day. The holiday season, and the big begins normally with Thanksgiving, and is celebrated with family, and even with COVID, more than 54 million Americans are going to travel. But that many people are, uh, are get, gathered to give thanks with their family and, and join with their family. So many families will gather together, they'll stuff themselves with stuffing and, and all the other good food, and many will be watching NFL games, and they started in, in 1920, um, and so a lot of people do that as part of their tradition. But this is a part of tradition for families to get together to give thanks for what we have, to give thanks to God, and we continue that. And as we're with our families, we try to connect with the family in a sense, who are we in relationship to our loved ones? It's different in families, a different society, and certainly spiritually it's different. And actually spiritually is we love one another. Okay, we treat every, everybody with dignity and respect. We don't criticize, we don't name call, but but we treat people with dignity and respect. And I think that's important. And I think we need, when, God, when Jesus says, love God with your whole heart, body, mind, soul, love your neighbors, you love yourself. And I think a lot of that is to be talking to people, listening to people. And I think that that's a very, very important thing. And I think something that uh, if we can do that, we should be very thankful. So our relationship with Christ is a very important part of Thanksgiving. As we know, we all fall short of the glory of God, all of us. We've all had times we've been embarrassed, we've been shamed. We think about what we've done, we just feel very, very bad. So we give thanks for a God who forgives us in our shortcomings, we can look past those. Is, and this is a God that when we believe in Christ, are open to God's conditional love and grace. So we're justified before God, and we're supposed to share this grace with other people as we tell them about our Lord and Savior. This is a great time to do that.
So this gives us this freedom to do for others. And so we will continue here to, uh, we're going to be doing good gifts for sending to people in poverty around the world. We're certainly going to be continuing to feed people in the food pantry. We have a cadre of very dedicated, excellent people that have a passion for that and do quite well. And I think as we have a mission in our community, I think that those are both very, very important things. So all of these things at a time of COVID, at a time where all these things that we, we could grumble about, we can complain about, things we could respond and negatively with others, but, it, but instead we're good to one another, that is something to be thankful for. Amen. Please travel safely this Thanksgiving week. God's blessings.